The last demonstration that I'm going to give in this lesson is how to run a Jupyter notebook in CoLab. CoLab is actually short for a Google Co-Laboratory, but that's too long to say, so people just call it CoLab. One of the things about CoLab notebooks is that technically they're not exactly the same as Jupyter notebooks. You can upload an IPYNB uh, notebook, which is a Jupyter notebook, into CoLab and run it there. You can take a CoLab notebook and download it as a Jupyter notebook. Um, and that will work. But when you're actually in the CoLab platform, the notebook behavior is similar but slightly different to the actual uh, notebook platform that you might be used to if you've used it before. Um, that's different from Azure, which is literally exactly a Jupyter notebook um, application that's running in the cloud. The, um, so first, I'm going to show you how you would open a notebook that you already have on your account. And then I will show you how to open a notebook that is being shared with you via a link. The first thing that I'm going to do is open a new tab and go to my Google Drive. And I can see, since I already have a CoLab notebook, that there is a special folder on my Google Drive called CoLab Notebooks, and this is where all the CoLab Notebooks live. So if I double click on that, I can see uh, some notebooks that I already have here. Um, so let's open this one up. Now, because right now I'm just in my generic Google Drive, the generic Google Drive does not know what to do with CoLab Notebooks. However, since it recognized that it's a CoLab Notebook, I have this option at the top to open with Google Collaboratory. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what that does is basically sends me over to a different URL, collab.research.google.com, which opened in a new browser tab. And now I can see I'm in this Collab notebook. So if you look at the interface, you can see it's a little bit different than the typical Jupyter notebook interface. So there's no run button at the top um, and all of the other controls that you see aren't there. Um, if you want to run a cell in Jupyter Notebook, you can just simply uh, click on the cell and now you'll notice there's a little run button over uh, on the left side. And if I click on that run button, then I get kind of a spinning circle thing here while it's working and then now it's going ahead and carrying out the action that I want to do in this notebook. So uh, it, if you want to add cells, there is a separate button here for adding a code cell. Um, so I can just go ahead and write code here. If I want to add a markdown cell, then I click on the add text button and I can um, type some things, and then it will go ahead and render that for me when I click the Run button. So that's a little bit different than in the Jupyter Notebook where you had uh, that drop-down menu where you could switch back and forth between Markdown and Code Cells. But otherwise, the way that it operates is basically the same. I'm going to go ahead, if I want to click on the Save button, uh, it will, uh, I can make sure that I save the file. If I am done with it, I can just close the tab uh, and leave that notebook. And now I'm back to my Google Drive, just as I was before.